Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for June 24th, 2021. Well, I hope you all had a good rest yesterday. We are shaping up for a wild and woolly market open this morning. Let's see if we can gain some information about how we might want to approach the market today in the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. Um, yesterday was kind of an interesting day, wasn't it? We were in a very, very tight range. We just couldn't get moving. And then at the end of the day, there was just a little teeny tiny selling pressure. But somehow overnight, we have suddenly found all kinds of inspiration in the futures. And we are pushing hard this morning for an upside move. We, um, we heard from the Fed that um, they expect inflation to be longer lasting. We don't seem to care about that. And we know that later on today we're going to get uh, big, the big bank stress tests are going to be coming out after the bell today. And there's early reports out suggesting that they're all going to pass and probably wouldn't be a major surprise that they're all going to pass with the Fed continuing to just pump money to them um, in these easy money policies. So uh, kind of an interesting day could be setting up and then we have a big day of data. So let's take a look at the charts see if we can get some information from this. The diamonds itself continues to be the weakest of the market, but notice in the pre-market, we are pumping it hard. We are pushing this morning with an attempt that looks like to at least come up here and try to test that 50 day moving average resistance in the chart. So keep in mind that we do have price resistance in this chart to be thinking uh, that we should be thinking about. And that possibility does still exist that we could rally into that and create that failure pattern. And a failure at the 50 day moving average is a technical break that's pretty substantial. So watch for that possibility here in the chart. But they're pushing hard this morning as if there is absolutely nothing to be concerned about here this morning. Let's take a look at the SPY. Now, SPY, very bit, um, very much different situation where we've all, we're already just surged really, really hard back above that 50-day moving average as if there is no concern here in the market and a very good chance that in the pre-market here um, or shortly after we could set new record highs in the SPY. We are within striking distance. I think the institutions smell that new headline and they are going to go after it to try and draw more money to the market if possible. You know that every time we hit new record highs those folks that aren't in the market think, oh my gosh, I'm missing out. I'm going to have to hurry up and do something here and get into the market. And it attracts more money. And boy, they love that idea. And in an environment where the Fed continues to, as we're setting new record highs in the market, and we continue to have our Fed pump $120 billion a month, um, into the market. It's it's a remarkable circumstance here and we'll want to watch this closely. I'm not exactly sure what the overall results are going to be. In my opinion, it, it can't be good overall. Um, just too much money being forced into the system, but we'll see. Let's keep a close eye on this and that possibility that we could push right on out here and hit those new records. Now, one of the things I want to caution you guys on, with the diamonds actually rallying up to test this area here, and the SPY in that position where it could set new record highs, we have to also consider the possibility of a pop and drop. And that means we gap up in the morning, we get all of this um, early morning push, 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 and that possibility that we could gap into those resistance areas and see that be rejected. So you want to think about that possibility. Uh, be really, really careful chasing in first thing this morning. Let's make sure that we're actually going to get follow through buying before we push in. Remember, we've seen these many times before here recently where we'll gap up and then pull back, gap up and pull back, gap up 
and pull back. And it's become rather commonplace anymore. So don't be fooled again, just in case that could be the situation here where we could pop into those resistance areas and then just see um, those bears come out strongly on it. I can't say that that's going to happen, but we do want to be watching for that possibility. Let's take a look at the spot Qs. Now the QQQ, despite the chop yesterday, at the end of the day managed to get a new record high. This will be the 16th record high in the NASDAQ this year. Truly remarkable when you think about it. And um, watching this closely, and there is no sign in this chart that they want to stop yet. One thing I will tell you though, is we're getting a kind of stretched out here in the NASDAQ move. Um, we're, we're stretching away from our 50 day moving average, uh, pretty steep in its ascent here. So be really careful at any point in time, there could be some kind of a resting pullback and keep in mind, it's been the big tech giants that have really done the majority of the, the lifting. If you looked yesterday of the S and P 500, the majority of the S and P 500 was moving sideways to down and the big techs were doing uh, the majority of the lifting. So there's kind of an unhealthy imbalance going on here. And if those big techs do happen to start selling, well, it could be a bit, very different story in the market, but watch that closely. There's no signs here that they want to stop that yet. Let's take a look at IWM. Now IWM also pushed up yesterday. In fact, it ended up being one of the stronger um, indexes yesterday pushing back up I'm gonna put a few lines on here that I have drawn and you can see we've pushed right up into this resistance level in that chart we're pressing against that we pushed up there and then pulled back at the end of the day but we're trying hard to break on through that now let's keep in mind even if we break through that level right there we have another level above that could run us into some challenges. But with the bullishness that we're seeing in the market, we just don't seem to have any concern about inflation or the high prices, the high PE ratios, nothing seems to matter. Just hurry up and buy something. So can we continue to extend this on the upside? Absolutely. Stay with this trend until the trend breaks but don't become complacent. And that's what I'm worried about. I'm worried that we might be reaching a point of complacency in the market, that any kind of shock could really set, um, set things to the downside and that reversal that could, that could be really quick and painful. I don't wanna predict that. I just wanna say that I think there may be a little bit of complacency starting to build here into the market. Let's take a look at the VIX. Taking a look at the VIX, we had that fear dropping out yesterday and notice we were breaking down through the support area. I've been talking about that, breaking down through that support area and that was a good sign that we were breaking down through there. And then notice at the end of the day, we turned around and came right back up with that little bit of selling at the end of the day. So leaving just that little concern on the market. Now, suddenly overnight, that's all changed. I don't know why or how, but suddenly that has changed with the pre-market pump going on, trying to get everybody inspired to buy, buy, buy. So watch that closely as we uh, may be holding this price support. That would be a place where we could potentially bounce. And this also um, lends a little bit of credence to that idea. What if, what if we pop and drop? Well, we're holding right here at that support. If we were to pop this morning and drop, we would see that begin to spike back up. So watch that carefully. If we can push on through, if there's no reason in the data or anything like that to be concerned, we should see this sink and make new record lows. And once again, maybe just starting to uh, worry just a little bit about complacency in this market. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now T2122 is kind of telling yesterday as we were pushing up in the market, we set that new record high in the queues. We were doing all of these things. Notice that T2122 actually pulled back. That means there were more stocks going sideways to down yesterday than they were going up. And we'll want to keep a close eye on that. But
What that has done, that has opened an upside opportunity. So you can see from here, we have opened a pretty good size upside opportunity. And we may be experiencing that this morning with this pre-market burst of energy. Watch for that opportunity that we could reach right up in here in that bearish reversal zone pretty quickly, uh, particularly if the economic data points are positive. So watch that close for that opportunity for new records to be set. We also want to keep in mind if we were to pop and drop, we could pop right up into this area and then immediately find those sellers pushing us back down. So watch for that possibility as well. We do have plenty of downside opportunity that could be um, could be explored if those bears decide to engage. Let's take a look at our T2101. Here again, T2101, the market breadth, why we were pushing and pushing and pushing and Q set a new high. Notice that our market breadth turned back lower again. We just don't have any motivation, no follow through, no, no drive here in this market. And we've seen that in a lot of chop. And if you're honest with yourself, how many of you have been experiencing very a, a lot of difficulty in making money in this market? Um, I'm getting lots of emails on that where we buy in, we have really good buy signals, and then we reverse the next day. And then we get stopped out and we reverse again the next day. And we're seeing that in this um, absolute market breath. We, we just can't seem to get um, a flow going in the market. Now that may change today. I don't know or when it might change, but it does raise that concern as we're pressing new highs in the market that we just can't seem to get a whole lot going here on that market breadth indicator. Um, watch that closely. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar, this is going to be a big morning today. Um, and, you know, I think anything is possible after the close. These are market moving events. Uh, first off, we're going to have durable goods, durable goods um, orders. That will be interesting for sure. Watch that closely. If durable goods orders were to miss, right now they're expecting a slight decline in durable goods orders. If it were to miss um, and come in much less, we could see the market react negatively. If it comes in anywhere close to the number or even an improvement, that will be bullish for the market potentially. Unless it comes in too hot. If it comes in too hot or too strong, the market might see that as, hey, inflation is really starting to cause a problem here. Um, same thing with GDP. We'll want to watch that number pretty closely. Notice all these numbers are going to be out before the open. So we're going to get all of this um, potential vol volatility that could occur before the open of the market today. In fact, an hour before the open. So even though we're pumping up in the pre-market right here, I would have to say, and anything is possible by the time we actually reach our open. It could be much better than it is right now. It could be worse than it is right now. So watch these numbers carefully and don't get caught up in the hype that they're trying to drum up here this morning. Let's just watch these markets closely. Let's make sure when we open, we watch for follow through before we start making any major trade decisions. Um, so we've got GDP, international trade, and jobless claims. And then later on today, we've got the natural gas report. We have several Fed speakers, which seems to be normal anymore. They're always out there yakking away. And then we have the Fed balance sheet later on today, which nobody cares about. As long as we continue to push the market higher, they continue to print and pump money to the market. We don't care how much debt the Fed carries. Um, um, remember tomorrow we've got um, personal incomes and outlays that can move the market and consumer sentiment as you're planning your day forward. Let's take a look at um, the earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar today is our busiest calendar this week. Um, we have more companies reporting today than we have um, and, and more notables today. So let's dig into those. First off, we're going to hear from FedEx. FedEx will, will be reporting today. Watch that closely. Notice we've been pushing in this little bit of a downtrend here, rallying toward these this earnings report. Watch that right in here. Depending on how we react to that report, there's some resistance right in there in the chart. Could be important for the direction of FedEx. We're also going to hear from Nike today. Now, Nike, um, 
this has been a really ugly protracted nasty choppy pullback here on nike notice we've been rallying hard toward that earnings event um, keep a close eye on this we're trying to break above some price support so break above here if we can prove to hold up here that could turn this bullish if we were to get disappointing results in them and fail from here we could drop it back down below that price support notice that we are still in a current downtrend here in nike so a little bit of challenge here yet to be seen how that plays out um we're gonna hear from blackberry this morning keep an eye on blackberry i don't can't really say this is a major notable uh, for the market or a market moving report, but you'll want to watch it. We have uh, these big peaks here that we have made and notice this resting pullback in here really could set up that opportunity for more upside here in Blackberry. We have Darden Restaurants. Uh, DRI, you might want to keep an eye on that. Darden will be reporting today. It's been struggling here, a little bit of a downtrend. But watch that closely. Could change direction here if we get a good report. We have RAD. RAD will be reporting today. Ooh, looks like they have reported. And a um, bit of a pop and drop going on here. Looks like we gapped up and pulled back. So keep an eye on that. RAD may be losing a little bit of price support here in the chart and could potentially break that little uptrend right there so watch that carefully and um, last but not least i'm going to talk about this this morning wor um, watch this one this will be reporting today steel has had a major shock here recently um, and and just really uh, steel across the board even though they're moving forward with infrastructure copper steel anything metal um, has been hammered down by some China action um, releasing reserves so watch that closely um, uh, might be an interesting report today there let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that guys if you could do me a quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And probably the most important thing if you want to help us um, grow the channel is three little things. Smash that like button. Make sure you leave a brief comment. It's, it's the engagement in the video that makes the difference for um, uh, the algorithm to show the videos to more folks and then of course if you click that share button and share that video out on your social media feed that also helps us continue to stretch out and reach more people and uh, grow the channel with this kind of content and if you appreciate it um, maybe others will as well and I just want to say thank you to everyone um, we're over 21,500 in subscribers you guys are awesome thank you so much we are getting that nice little growth and it's all due to you and also thank you to all of those that are supporting the channel through the buy me a coffee link that's just below the title of the video you guys are truly truly awesome let's take a look at um, the stock setting up and please keep in mind that as I show you some of these stocks um, I may have a bias on some of these and I'll, I'll let you know if I do um, and um, remember never to blindly follow anyone else's trading ideas make sure you're doing your own due diligence watching these closely um, to make sure they fit your tolerance for risk in these trades let's take a look uh, box now box is one of those I've been mentioning here for a while and it started to perk up and we're just looking for that bullish inspiration to get going notice we pop through this price resistance in the chart and I by the way have a bias in this because I am holding this stock and it's looking pretty good at the moment let's see if that can push on through can't say that it will but um, it is worth paying attention to might also want to keep that close eye on tan I've been mentioning this this week and tan popped that alert yesterday moving on up um, keep an eye on this this is kind of it's starting to extend to the upside and looking pretty good so keep an eye on tan remember this is a break above the 50-day moving average and we will be testing that 200 day here really quickly but nice little pattern here, upside trend in 10. Keep a close eye on that. I've mentioned iHeart several times, and you guys see my price alert um, this entire week. Um, uh, 
this has just continued to stretch to the upside. Now I have to tell you, options in here are terrible, but as a stock trade, a beautiful chart continues to move higher. Keep a close eye on that. Um, looking pretty good overall. Now I would wait for the next entry before jumping into that trade, but watch that closely. Um, I have to also continue to mention, I mentioned Microsoft earlier this week as that potential to break on through and make new highs. It did exactly that. And we're continuing to stretch to new record highs here in Microsoft looking up. Now, once again, don't chase this, wait for the next entry into that trade. A trade that you might wanna keep an eye on, um, NKLA, NKLA perking back up here. Notice we had a little bit of price action challenge in here. We were dancing around. Now that we have popped up here, let's watch for a little rest, maybe just a little tiny resting pattern in here. And then that opportunity that this could continue to extend and move on higher. And I'm gonna to have to put NIO in that list as well. NIO trying to show that bullishness yesterday, pulling back here to trend watching that as it tries to move on through trying to perk up here this morning so keep a close eye on that nio looking pretty good so there's a few charts for you to kind of mull over take a look at i'll add another one or two here take a look at peloton peloton pushing on through remember i was talking about this earlier this week um, because we had tried so many times and were unable to break through, I said what I wanted to see in this chart, I wanted to see this break through that resistance and now give me some kind of a little resting pattern in here. Um, consolidate or resting pattern in here and then I think Peloton could be all ready to go to the upside. You don't want to chase something that's extended like this, but any rest or pullback would set up that opportunity in that chart. So there you go, a few charts for you to watch and, and um, decide how you might want to trade. Um, everyone take care, have an awesome, awesome day. I want to wish you all the best of, su of success in your trading and we'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning. Have a good one everyone.